Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, do we have some Monster High tea today? We have a bunch of new settings for Monster High School Ultimate Secrets Series 1. We have more information for School Ultimate Secrets Series 3 with a neon theme question mark. And then, of course, the the priest de resistance. We have our first teaser sneak peek of the upcoming two-pack chucky x tiffany dolls so girl strap in and let's get into it so let's start off with the new information we have for school to mid secrets series three we also have a name for the series just like series two is called fear adescent and it has a you know pearlescent theme this uh series three is called neon frights uh and the theme here is obviously a neon so it says here school to mid secrets returns with the neon frights edition and this time it's fluorescent okay so so kind of like a glow in the dark kind of situation. Um, the description reads, turn off the lights to discover three accessories that glow in the dark. Mix and match them with the other included styling pieces to create outfits that will light up even the darkest of nights. So that is the like generic um, description i'm guessing and so the big gimmick here is that there's going to be a couple of accessories with each doll that will be able to you know glow in the dark that is um that is cute obviously we've seen stuff like that done before like with omg uh lights and um dance 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 that was uv light though so not really like glow in the dark but still like a very similar gimmick and we have seen glow in the dark elements with twyla for instance so uh it seems that it's kind of perfect that she's also included with this series because because that's her element that's her that's her whole thing glow in the dark so i'm really glad that they do have her in this series since the theming is perfect to her um so let's go over the individual descriptions we have. Uh, we have one for each except for Gulia, unfortunately, but um, Gulia is included. So that's very exciting. This will be her second only G3 doll, I believe. So, wow. Uh, yeah, I know. Crazy. I thought we would have gotten at least uh, another, a second one by now, but nope. So uh, at least she's making another doll appearance here. So the Draculaura description says, doll makes a statement with bold pink highlights and makeup, comes with cozy hoodie and chocolatey snack to a laptop and face mac among surprises. So they don't reveal too much about her, um, you know, outfit, but uh, bold pink highlights. Okay, cute. I mean, she always has pink hair, so not really too surprising. <laughs> but a bold pink maybe they're like neon pink that could be interesting uh since the theming here is like neon but also like glow in the dark so um and also like with series two um fair adescent obviously like uh that's like um uh, it's a play on words for iridescence but that's only a finish on some pieces on some of the outfits and the actual theming is like uh very monochromatic of, as we've seen every doll every doll has like their own color scheme claudine is purple laguna is like teal frankie's blue cleo's yellow and of course dracula is pink and there's like also like a winter uh vibe as well so there's like different aspects to every series it's not just like straightforward like one thing so even though here it's all like neon and glow in, the, glow in the dark i feel like we might get surprised by also like what the actual actual presentation might be for the whole series as a whole because like for series two i was not expecting every doll to be like monochromatic you know like just one color but that was a very pleasant surprise so i'm sure there's going to be much more uh, many more surprises to that we're going to be, be able to see uh as we actually get to see the dolls um but it's really cute draculaura of course she returns here in series three uh, i feel like a lot of people are getting kind of tired of Draculaura in G3 already which I understand I really wish we would have gotten like maybe um Deuce or I mean I get it boy dolls don't sell as better as good as girl dolls but still like at least give us like um like another character that's like very underrepresented um like Gulia, Twyla, Torlai that's very good that they're included here uh but uh I obviously there's just not maybe Abby I mean maybe it would have been too close to Abby's, uh, you know, 
original core release uh to include her in this series but still like i just i feel like jackie laura she's like in every series and like it's cute but like if they don't really even do anything interesting with her design like what's the point but anyways um frankie stein uh their description reads doll makes a statement with boldly colored hair and makeup they come with cozy hoodie once again and snack to a laptop and a blow uh dryer among surprises okay so again a hoodie um and and boldly colored hair that's again something they have in common it seems um i do wonder if maybe the theme is again cozy because I'm, I'm i'm kind of getting like sleepover party vibes here and obviously there's like already we already got a theme where where it was called creepover party um so i'm i, I really hope it's not just like another kind of like play on like sleepovers because we already had that because like so far the outfits seem very um you know cozy like a hoodie and that's like something you sleep in sometimes so i don't know i'm kind of worried <laughs> but then we have torlai uh and then it says here for her a doll makes a statement with boldly colored again bold colored hair uh and makeup she has surprises from once again a hoodie uh and cup of tea to recording microphone and keyboard so that's cute torlai obviously she's in a band so she's going to come with her musical in in instruments um and then gulia of course we don't have a description for her unfortunately and twyla the last doll in the series uh it reads doll makes a statement with glowing eyes so they're keeping that for her really cute uh bold colored hair once again it includes a uh includes a cropped hoodie so cropped hoodie for her uh sweet treat and a lantern uh spooky book as well so okay no, again not too much revealed uh overall i am getting very heavy creepover party vibes here just because the every doll seems to include a hoodie which doesn't have to mean it's like a sleepover situation it could be another type of uh scenario like another type of event i don't know it could be like a casual day school school day i don't know but i do find it weird that they all come with hoodies anyways i am excited the glow in the dark aspect definitely will um you know make this more interesting and i wonder how the boxes will look like as well since every series will seem to have individual and very unique looking boxes next up we have another new picture of the claudine wolf monster ball doll that was sold early by paul mart online uh, and here we actually have the unbox pictures of g3 claude by gloom uh, beach uh, and he looks good you know i think he looks just as good as we saw in box so far it's really just the hair it's too big and then also uh the amazing at joe gray draw on instagram actually did a couple of edits on his face and i definitely think it's an improvement um the eyes definitely should have had more of a um you know square shape like in the series like they're just too um too round you know they just don't look right for claude uh which is a shame because he he he's absolutely adorable in the series and the, the doll could have looked so good but he ends up looking like really wonky so unfortunately that's the case here but um hopefully maybe some um you know future variants for claude will maybe look better and then of course taming the hair will also help out a lot i i'm pretty sure next up we're gonna be looking at all the latest sightings of new school to secrets series one in the u.s so uh here you can see on screen all of these updates were uh shared by at monster high retro so thanks to them and of course to all the people who actually shared uh the updates to monster high retro and then you know they shared it on their story and now i am sharing it here with all of with all of y'all so funny how that works out but um yeah a lot of different states in the u.s have been uh starting to get them in store in walmart uh more I've, I've seen what more walmarts have been stocking them than target so maybe maybe walmart is like it's an exclusive to walmart the scoldment secrets series one dolls i don't think so but like it just seems that they're getting more stocked in walmarts um and then also new zealand uh here amazing and also in germany they're appearing online on smith's toys so that's really exciting now before the chucky x tiffany two pack uh for sneak peeks came out we actually got a new music video that yes it's another creepover party <laughs> music video this is just i mean 
technically the third music video that we've gotten that's creepover party themed since we got one stop motion video that was for twyla we got the second one that was for twyla but that one was animated and then now we have this third one that's also animated but it's more like a continuation of the story that you know of the of the first animated the second music video for creep of a party but it was animated oh my god uh so confusing but you know what i mean it's like the last music video we got it started up a storyline of you know uh the ghouls having a creep over party obviously that's the main theme for this series uh but then in this music video they continue the story where now they're all sleeping and twyla notices that they all have nightmares so it's a basically it's just a continuation from the story from one music video to the other uh i think that's really neat but do we need another music video i'm not sure especially because we we don't have a music video for twyla i mean for torlai uh deuce or gulia so i i wish we would have gotten uh i wish the budget would have gone into uh creating one of the music videos for those other characters that haven't received one yet so but anyways it's still a cute video uh the animation is still good the sound the music the, the the actual song is cute but like not my jam um and uh yeah it's cute the one thing that stuck out to me is uh when claudine when, when we get to claudine's you know quote nightmare uh it's about claudine not having any fashion inspiration uh she can't uh she, she doesn't know how to create new designs and like what <laughs> g1 claudine was a asp aspiring fashion designer g3 claudine so far we have seen nothing for her that indicates that she is also into fashion in any regard so that was kind of random uh claudine i guess they are trying to give her this aspect back to her character where she is a fashion designer because that line it was just so it did not fit at all with how they've written claudine so far in a series and in the music videos like um she that's not her like we've seen in no case whatsoever that she's been into fashion again whatsoever like she has not once mentioned anything about designing any clothes or anything so her saying oh no my nightmare is that i can't come up with new designs like girl what excuse me since when are you into fashion designing in g3 like <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's cool. It's more, it's more um, accurate to what her personality was like in G one. But again, like in G three, so far we hadn't seen that side of her at all. So maybe they're gonna build that up again, and she's gonna be like again a fashion designer. I mean, again, that's cool. But to me, this just seemed very random. <laughs> and okay, fine. Now let's get into the sneak peek of the next Skulltimits, uh, Skulltimits, <laughs> Skulllector dolls, which are obviously the uh upcoming two pack of chucky x tiffany um this was like out of nowhere usually they gave us like four days uh you know uh, of a heads up right like in advance uh, of time to let us know like when we're getting a new doll release but nope like in this case um the actual two pack is releasing in on the first of uh may so that is like uh, a good week away or almost two weeks so that is shocking that they're you know giving us a sneak peek already so early but um that it's i mean it's good because people can uh prepare and plan ahead of time so that's that's better obviously um now the actual the other surprise was that you know people were not sure is this a two-pack is this how is it going to be like um like how is it going to be execute it like are we getting, are we gonna get like um tiffany as a human doll or as a you know in her tiffany doll version look like which version are we getting uh is is chucky gonna be like a like an accessory that sh that tiffany can hold or is chucky gonna be like an actual secondary character and is this gonna be like a proper tuba like just so many questions we had right and it's and also like even when we we were gonna get a two-pack uh you know still like chucky we all thought it was just gonna be like a male doll and then tiffany was gonna be like just a girl doll but nope they actually gender bent chucky uh which they have done in the past they have again they have gender bent uh pennywise as well right uh, that was the um 
the first collector doll so they've done it in the past so it's not really that surprising but i mean people are living for it and it's just it also makes sense in the context of the actual uh canon and lore of the chucky universe chucky you know the series the movies um they play a lot they play around a lot with the concept of you know genders and and you know just like the the non the, the binary of genders and like this and that like and so it's really interesting that they you know it just fits in it actually makes sense and fits in that chucky would be a girl here in the doll in the monster high doll version so it, it just makes sense it's a really nice execution and it actually works between two brands of monster high and in the chucky uh movies it just makes sense which is just it just goes to show you that this collaboration is perfect um so the actual teasers we got to see uh seem to take place in another iconic scene which is from the um bride of Ch the that movie i'm not sure what the title is anymore it's been a while but it's basically the um, movie where tiffany gets introduced the actual doll uh the scene plays out you know the scene where tiffany actually gets you know born into the doll it's a whole story obviously you gotta watch the movies but basically um tiffany is a person first uh she's taking a bath in her trailer she's watching some she's like watching an old-timey movie which obviously they also get a little easter egg on the um tv here which has the bride of Frankenstein Monster has collector doll because uh, in the actual movie Tiffany the uh, who's played by um, oh my god what's her name uh, Tip, I, I believe Tip Valen oh my gosh I don't remember her name but uh she's iconic the actress who actually plays tiffany um she, you know in the actual scene um she is watching an old-timey movie and so they also reference that here which is really cool and so basically she gets electrocuted she dies in the bathtub and then chucky brings her back to life in the body of the doll and then this is now the new tiffany uh, that we get to see later on in the movies um so <laughs> it's, it's so complicated i'm so sorry <laughs> But, but uh, that's just why I love the background so much because it just, again, it's a really cute reference. Um, it's, yeah, I love the references here, the Easter eggs. Ah, I love it. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the other reference is the uh, close-up of the faces of Tiffany and Chucky um, are obviously an homage to the uh, iconic movie poster for uh, the uh, Br Bride of Chucky or... I th yeah, I think that's the name of the movie. So that's also really cool. Um, and then we don't actually get a good look, obviously, at the dolls. But it does seem that they're going to be like maybe a smaller scale doll, like Twyla body wise, maybe like the the younger body type that they use for the Grady twins. Um, I'm not sure what bodies they will be using. Uh, all we know is that Chucky, yes, has been gender bent, and there we we can see what their face molds look like in the close-ups, um, and we can also see what the backs of their outfits look like. You know, with the overalls for Chucky, the long hair for Chucky actually looks amazing. The the little freckles for him as well for for, for her in this you know in this iteration, obviously. <laughs> and then we have Tiffany, um, the blonde hair the dress uh, obviously in the movies she uh she she was wearing like a torn up wedding dress um so so it's interesting here that the actual dress she's wearing is no longer white it's actually like um it has a pattern of red heart splatters which also makes sense because obviously in the chucky movies there's a lot of killing killing and gore uh so the blood splatter hearts make sense um and then the blonde hair we don't get to see too much of her outfit otherwise um and i do feel like we're missing a uh black motor jacket i wish they would have given that to her but maybe she comes with something else i'm not sure um but overall i i'm not really a fan of the print i have to be honest i really much rather her would have again we don't know if she does come with a jacket but i i don't see one here so i really hope she does come with one of and then and if she doesn't come with one i really hope she would have gotten one instead of like giving them giving her that print because it's uh you know it's just not like I don't feel like Tiffany would have liked that print. You know what I mean? It's just not very Tiffany. Uh, but but I, I'm talking so much, but I'm, I'm, really, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I love the first sneak peeks here. I'm very excited. I just hope they're not too expensive because the previous uh, two packs have been 90 US dollars. So, uh, but I'm very excited. This is a very good uh, first impression. I am very excited for to see Tiffany and Chucky, gender bent Chucky. It just, it's perfect. Uh, and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy.
and that was the video <laughs> i hope y'all enjoyed uh let me know what you think down below leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses